another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching the finale of season six of the 100 hopefully guys are excited for today's episode yes in the intros of the finale we do obviously show the most likely dislike characters of the season now obviously this is being recorded after i've watched the episode and i'm going to try and you know give away no spoilers as i am picking my favorite characters and obviously the most dislikes of the season i can't wait to see who you guys have chosen let's jump over there now before we jump into the epic final episode we have our most disliked character of the season very interesting uh, i'm not too sure who you guys are going to pick actually i feel like uh, a couple of contenders you know uh people i uh, do you know what after watching and reading the comments on the youtube i feel like a lot of people kind of do, uh, don't like bellamy and it wouldn't surprise me if Bellamy is up there, you know, with the most disliked characters. I just feel like when I read the YouTube comments, especially, he gets a lot of stick. And, um, you know, I don't think he's that bad, but I can understand where people are coming from. And if you've been watching the series and obviously um, following him through the season, you can see why some people might dislike him. I also feel like, um, you know, there's been a couple of episodes where um, Russell's wife, what's her name, Simone, she's been really annoying. I feel like she's a good contender for it this season. But I also feel like her daughter as well is a, another massive contender. I feel like Gabriel's had an okay season and Abby as well. Usually she's up there with that, uh, you know, annoys a few people. But I'm actually going to choose for my, uh, for my vote. I'm going to pick Josephine. Um, like I said, you know, I feel like her character in general was annoying, but... We'll get on to the most liked characters in further discussions on that because uh, her character is actually really interesting and obviously the effects I had on Clark and stuff like that, you know, I thought that it was quite good in terms of the whole plot of the whole show. But in terms of her and the way she was and the way she acted, you know, uh, even though it was quite good, I do feel like she was one that stressed me out the most and she was the most annoying one, in my personal opinion. I wouldn't say most disliked, I would just say most annoying and that's the reason why she's grabbing my vote. Okay, so here we are with our most disliked characters of this season. And I've just noticed that in this video, I'm going to be wearing three different outfits. Crazy, jumping about. But here we go. Simone is the most disliked character with Josephine in second place and Russell in third. Now, very interestingly, you know, if we do go to what we've done on the Patreon, we had Bellamy in first place, we had Josephine in second, and um, yes, Simone was in third. So it's interesting to see how Bellamy's fell out. Literally got no votes since it's gone onto the YouTube, and Simone has just rocked all the way up to the top. And I can understand that, you know what I mean? She has been pretty annoying, if I'm being totally honest. She has taken over Abby's body. And, um, you know, Russell is also, I think, could be a main contender for that in terms of he is the person that's been pushing this forward as well. And he done the first one by kind of cheating his way up the line, didn't uh, by putting Josephine inside of Clark. Now, it's interesting because obviously Clark's had a, a really good season in terms of herself acting. Um, but in terms of the character Josephine, she's been selfish, she's been annoying, and she's dead cocky, isn't she? So I can totally understand why everybody's picked it. Now, look at this. This is the most um i would say the most people chosen in a poll even if it's only people that have had one or two votes like look at the selection on these mate there's only four characters that didn't get a dislike out of all the options available now i personally think that's fantastic i really really do love it and uh you know i love everybody that engages into the channel so now obviously seeing josephine in second place i'm really excited to see who could possibly take first place whether it's going to be clark again because obviously she's done some great acting with two characters and obviously i can't wait to see what you guys think what's like characters obviously season six very interested to see obviously who everybody chooses here consistently great characters are clark raven do you know what i mean um i actually think that um indra's very very good she, i just love indra but i also feel like um echo don't get enough credit as well i feel like she's been a good addition to the cast she's improved bellamy a lot hopefully um you know we can see her advance further into the final season obviously I have a good storyline rocking there but i also feel like as well you know a good character or i won't say good but somebody that i thought would have got loads of hate but i don't actually think it's that bad he's dials as well i feel like she's had a pretty good solid season i like the relationship that she's had with uh octavia to be honest she's been actually pretty decent i'm excited to see obviously where we go but i'm going to pick and i don't know if it's obvious after saying the most disliked but i'm going to pick clark as my most liked character of the season and you know what right i wouldn't even say it was clark i would say it was eliza taylor the person that plays her because she's had a fantastic season She's been involved in me selecting one of the disliked characters and she's been involved in me selecting the most liked character. And that is because her acting has been so, so good. Do you know what I mean? The personality switch-ups, the, the mannerisms, the way she twists her hair, the cockiness in her confidence and her body mannerisms. And then obviously her concerning of being Clark and how she wants to do it and save everybody. And she's been fighting and she suffers loads of stuff, doesn't she, Clark? She goes through the wars all the time. And I feel like she always prevails, but there's always a consequence of an action that she has to undertake to get, obviously, uh, the victory for everybody. Do you know what I mean? So... 
just like Mark Weather, she had to pull the lever to kill everybody. But to me, it was the right thing to do to save the masses of the people that she loves. And we've seen lots of other different sacrifices that she do, that she's had to do, especially with the Maddie situation. And obviously, she's being controlled now by Shade Hader and all this crazy stuff that's going on. And like I said, Eliza Taylor, I should put her name in there. She's the one that's been my most liked character of this season. Let's have a look and see who you guys have chosen. <laughs> oh, my God. It is the most liked characters of this season. Oh, my God, mate. I don't think I've ever seen a character win by that many votes. That is ridiculous, honestly. It really, really is. 73.53% of the votes has gone to Clark. Bellamy in second place, Gabriel in third. It's pretty much similar to uh, to the Patreon. Octavia was in third place. But literally, it seems like nobody's even gotten a vote. Only Clark. And do you know what? I can't be hating on it. She got my vote. She deserves it. What a season. She won... Well, she nearly won the disliked character, and she also won the most liked character, which is very interesting because it's the same person playing both roles, and that is a credit to the actress. She's done absolutely fantastic. And I don't know if you've noticed the running theme that we've got going onto the channel when we do all these votes, but it does seem to be that Clark absolutely dominates it. She is the main runner. She is the the leader of everybody, pretty much, isn't she? She does step up to the plate, and uh, you know I can't have no literally no uh, problems with with that vote because she's deserved it this season. She's ran away with it i'm interested to see how we finish off obviously today's episode and how we finish off the entire show in general if you are interested in voting for the next series to be on the channel there's going to be a link in the description you could do three votes if you're also interested in um you know your most liked characters from the entire show as well from the franchise that's also going to be available in the description below as well so there's going to be uh two polls extra there running and uh, hopefully you guys take part and who knows, mate, maybe Clark's going to win and dominate the obviously the most character uh, across the whole franchise. So I can't wait to see who you guys choose. But this is today's finale episode, season six. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I, like always, thanks for checking out the channel and obviously taking part in all the polls. <laughs>
Or do you not believe in the divinity of the primes? You don't need a potion to find out my truth. Primes are not gods, they're liars. <laughs> Gotta take it, Miller. It's not worth dying for, is it? What's he gonna do to him, though? Oh, do you think that they've got it? Oh, smart, mate. We are purifying Sanctum, as so ordered by Russell Prime. Russell is not here. But we shall decide what to do with him. I missed you. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Right, can I just say, that bit there that he's just saying, didn't remember me, makes no sense in terms of that guy being confused. It makes total sense to us watching the storyline because nobody remembers anything, yeah? So the fact is, when Priya took over, yeah, Delilah's body, she didn't remember nothing. Do you know why? it's not Delilah. And do you know what I'm saying? It was her family was trying to offer her, like, food and pies and stuff, and he was like, it's Delilah's favourite, and do Nobody, whoever takes possession of a body, remembers any of the past. Why is that guy so confused? Do you know what I mean? Like, to me, that was the most obvious thing ever. Now he's like, oh, they're probably not the primes. It's like, no, mate. Obviously, they're not the primes. But the thing is, if they was the primes anyway, they wouldn't have a clue what you was just doing. Jordan here now. He's our next stop. Jordan's alive still. Good. I believe they still committed to him, even when they found out it was all lies. My people, we, got who we, could. we got who we could, and it was none of his people. Literally none of them. In it, none of his people survived. He just left them there. Are we sure? It's the rest of the human race, after all. Are you feeling okay? You had any nosebleeds or memory flashes that aren't familiar? No. Oh, it's something I saw in Clark's mind space. Her mother had the same neural mesh as she did. I examined her before resurrection. I wasn't about to make the same mistake twice. Go on, Clark. Bang. Step back a bit, though. No. Too close. Oh, she didn't even shoot them. Lost his child. No sympathy for him, knowing it. He takes everybody else's. I was only a girl when they took tree crew. He went from village to village butchering anyone who refused to kneel. I'm right, and it quarantined the minds of the other commanders. It should be easy to isolate Shakita and dump it onto the Vecca computer. There's a kill code, but Vecca doesn't mention that in her notes. It'll destroy the flame. <laughs> Release me! Gaia, what do you want me to do? You can't destroy the flame, man. I know that she's going to say that. I mean, I have no problem with her saying it, but... I will kill you, Seda! In there! Good. That's far enough. I set the inner door to stay open when I pull this, so you can put the guns down. What are you doing, Clark? You don't fall for it. Ask a personal question. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. They're protecting too. Now let's lock them up and go save Maddie. That's an alpha play. Yes. Smart. Yes. Do you know what? Big respect to you, Clark, honestly. Big respect to you, Clark. Right, I'm giving you a clap, Clark. I am giving you a clap. One, because I didn't know if you'd have the guts to take your mum out. You know, it's a tough decision. I said it would be so easy just to turn the gun and bang. That's it. Game over. Job done. You took a life. I'm taking yours. It's as simple as that. My mum's not coming back. But the biggest clap that you was getting is the fact that you was nearly manipulated and used a bit of common sense mate and asked a personal question which she got wrong it was an alpha play from abby i like it it was clever she had to think fast on her feet and she'd done it well but you know r.i.p to you abby you know you are gone now clearly you're not coming back from being floated same as Kane, he's gone as well. And obviously her dad floated, so technically, do you know what I mean? Everybody that was kind of like involved in the family and all that are gone now forever. But big respect to her. It's a hard thing to do. I didn't think she would do it. And you know what? She used a mind. She, she was really smart then. She fought fast on her feet and so did Abby. And you know what? I respect it. I want Clark to hear this. You think she took everything from me? But you have your life, you have your kingdom. I can save both of those for you. The revenge I can offer would be so much 
Sweet. <laughs> Decent, mate. He's taken the alpha play as well. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm not madder. In it, mate. You can tell that that wasn't madder. That's interesting. That. Know that the primes will protect you, but only if you believe. We're here. You're safe. Lay him down. <sighs> I don't understand. We told him the truth. Why are they still doing this? If they accept the truth, their lives mean nothing. That's why I burnt the farm. Yeah, it's a toxin again. Why? The blood of Santa was far more potent than what was in Russell's bomb. They were killing non-believers. My friend who you left behind is one of them. Look, I am sorry, but we stayed to save our friends and we did that. Wait for me. That's it, Octavia. I can't let these people die, Bill. Side by side. There we go. Like it was meant to be. He helped you. You got to help him. You can't be selfish. You can't have it all your way. Do you know what I mean? Respect to you, Octavia. You've done the right thing. Kaylee was against the adjustment protocol. That's why they believed it when you took them all away. It has to be Daniel. If I die, you're bringing me back. No, I'm not. <laughs> Please lie to me. Being a god should be more fun than this. Side by side now, Maddie and Russell. Oh, no, it's Clark. Clark, how, how did you... Shell's failsafe code. Where's Maddie? Russell took her. <laughs> I killed his family. And now he's gonna kill them. Side by side now. They broke them all up. She used her army against him. Yeah. Mexa Contrico said you were strong, but you're as weak as her. Hold. Betty, I know you're in there. I lost my mother today. I can't lose you too. Pull the trigger. In three. It's time up when I'm gonna. <laughs> Russell's like, what the hell, me? I've just. Went from winning to losing instantly. Oh, they're fighting internally. I think Maddie's actually has been pretty good, me, under possession. Second time downloading. We have to take it out. <laughs> Why would you let Clark do it? She's shaking all over. Give it Jackson. Let's use a bit of common sense, love. Do you know what I mean? I'm here. I'm not the commander anymore. Thank you. Do you reckon a commander's in that other cult? Uh, somewhere else? He just transferred the file? In her head, just completely. She don't need it. Oh, where's it gone, mate? You know, all I can say is that from my point of view... I want the flame slash commanders or whatever thing you want to call it to still be a thing. Like, it's been ever since, well, yeah, pretty much the starting story, you know. They hit the ground, the grounders was there. Why are the grounders there? Because they have a commander. Why is the commander? Because of Becca. Do you know what I mean? Why is that? Because of the flame. Let's be honest, it's been ever since episode one, all the way until now, part of the story. Don't want it to go away. I actually don't. I want it to run consistent all the way throughout to the very end and then finish the way everybody does. No idea how the show's going to end, but what I want is that to finish when the show does. I don't want the commander to go away now. I'm actually disappointed that, you know, it's been taken out of her head. It's gone somewhere, so somebody else is taking the commander. Do you know what I mean? Like, who's it going to be? Who knows? Maybe it's on... It's still inside of her head, like... Do you know what I mean? Maybe the chips died, the flame or whatever you want to call it, but, like, I don't know, the the memories and all the coding is latched onto her brain because we've seen that in the way of the emp and stuff do you know what i mean clark still had some in the head raven did as well do you know what i'm saying so like maybe it's still inside of maddie's head it's gone somewhere clearly you could just see it like upload complete you know it was a download the upload so it's going to be interesting i want it to stay a constant throughout that's one thing i like in shows consistency that's it because it's a storyline that we've all been committed to we've all got behind we all understand we're all following it and why end it now when there's only one season left? Do you know what I mean? So let's see where we go. Welcome to the main event of the evening. An adjustment for the demon Gabriel himself. Right this way, holiness. I reckon they're wary, not believing that it's actually Murphy. Well, whoever they're supposed to be. Gabriel and Murphy control the inside. We make sure no one else gets inside. Zed, we have a special guest. Something wrong with this? I need adjusting too. With my resurrection, my memory is shot. What's it do to him? It had Miller in a bad way. I'm sorry this happened to you. We 
purify Sanctum through fire. Get the fuel. Leave the torch and back away. Those are your people in there. Help us save them. That's what we're doing. It's bad I've committed it. I reckon this guy knows she was going to betray him. That's what I was going to say. He needs to launch all torches. <laughs> Commitment's mad, in it? Commitment is fucking mad. Honestly. Yo, that's crazy. Oh, take me drop kicker. Oh. Yo, I can't believe that, mate. Faith is mad, isn't it? <laughs> What's Octavius back? Got a tattoo. The red symbols. I've been studying it for 150 years. We call it the anomaly stone. Still think you were gone for only a few seconds. Do you know why I'm loving it? Because we've not glossed over it. And that's fucking good stuff, mate. You know? I was going to say, going to end this season. What the F happened in that anomaly? You know what I'm saying? I mentioned it a couple of episodes back. It might have been the last one. How she walked in and come out and changed? How the hell's have gone in and died and never come out? What's happened? We're not just going to just have that as a story and then just say that we're all great. You know what I mean? We understand it. We're accepting it. Octavia went in there dying, come out fresh, and that's it. We don't need no more explanation for it because we like the show. No, we do need explanation. And I'm liking how they've just utilised it shown it do you think you've only been in there for a few seconds no mate you've been in there for time you've got that tattoo on your back what's it mean we don't know you need to go back in that's the scary thing going back in because nobody's come out apart from octavia so now it's going to be good to see it go in and hopefully it's going to obviously be moved on into the next season which is going to be exciting don't let this delay you we're still leaving the anomaly awaits I'm right behind you. you okay look like you had a rough night we're back from space i saw the ship you go. I'm gonna help clean up our mess. It's not our mess, though, is it? It's their mess, and they just hey. created it because of what happened. They say you got Priya killed. The truth got Priya killed. These people had peace before we got here. Whose mind drives that? I tried to do better, and then I lost my mom. Tell me it was worth it. Hey, hey, you did. You did do better. Best thing with that Jordan storyline, to be fair, I feel like he's one with them now. He's a hater of the people on the ship. Yo, look at that. Is he gonna press all of the reds and something's gonna happen? That ball's obviously gonna compress into itself. A symbol in the series is called Anoctonian. Advanced mathematics way above my head. But I don't think it's coincidence you share a name. Oh, it's send that out. It's sending the toxins out. Is this? Oh, I couldn't get out of it. Oh, has my mother. I feel like she's just stabbed Octavia. Yeah. What am I fucking watching here, mate? It's interesting. <laughs> Yo, where's that green shit gone? Look, it's disappearing. What the hell's just happened? That was pretty good, to be honest. It was pretty good. It's left me guessing. I'm very interested. Me, I definitely knew that she got stabbed there. I, I Like, I felt it. I could hear the thing going in. Now, that's Hope. Um, Diosa's kid, which is interesting. Look how old she is. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's definitely been in there for a long time. But the interesting thing is, you know, when she got stabbed, Octavia said something, like, tell him it's done or something. As if, like, she knew that was going to happen or, like, she wanted it to. But, like, she didn't know. It was like, have you ever seen the film Salt with uh, Angelina Jolie? They're living and, like, they're working in the police or the cia or something obviously in america and when a russian hitman like comes in and says a code 
they all turn into Russian assassins and like, do you know what I mean? And they all go against everything that they've done and it's like it's triggered it and it's like, boom, I'm under the spell, bang, 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 I'm a different person. And it's kind of like that, like Octavia was living as Octavia, you know, Bellamy's sister here, saving everybody. But then when she seen Hope, it was like, boom, something's clicked, she turned into a different person. It was like she understood her assignment, so to speak, and what had to be done. And obviously she's evap evaporated here into the anomaly disappeared now what's happened there no idea what is that ball thing doing why is that like caused it again no idea like it's interesting it actually is i hope that hope for example has not died and do you know what nobody can ever beat hope michelson to be honest you know every time i hear that name now i always associate with her absolute beast mate tribid monster.com so i'm i am excited to see where we go she's got tattoos on her face as well maybe obviously gabriel can decide for them and and get an understanding of what's actually going on octavia has actually gone into the anomaly which has now looks like it's disappeared so no idea what the crack is there how they're going to find it you know i was going to say the anomaly's come and it's just like smashed across the sanctum there hasn't it and like we've only seen that one other time earlier on in the season when octavian nearly got hit and she had to go underneath uh but the thing is i was going to ask why was that happening and like at the time that happened you had the anomaly wall and it was like stars getting shot out across sanctum who actioned them and like you know why was that a thing and where is it actually gone now like that's interesting i'm glad that we've got a storyline going into the next season to be honest if you look at this as well we've got a storyline of madden and the commander going into next season it's like okay maddie's not the commander but the code has been transferred somewhere where has it gone that is a thing that's thing is still a, a question that needs to be raised and it's exciting to see and we've also got a storyline that it looks like to me anyway going into the next season of a jordan one now jordan's kind of you know he turned around and said, um, you know, they lived here in peace, you know, for all these years and we come in and kind of ruined it. Nah, do you know what I mean? You come in and done the right thing. I don't care what you say and how you look at it. Everybody could done the right thing. You tried to find a place to live. They tried to... It's, it's like Mount Weather all over again in terms of the situation. You never went there as a threat to them. You went there looking for a place to live and, uh, you know, survive. You landed down. They tried to manipulate and use you and pretty much, you know what I mean, kill you all so they could have a benefit of being immortals. All you've done is retaliated from their, obviously, actions and they ended up dying. And that's To me, that's not your fault. It really isn't. It's just like walking somewhere there, somewhere somebody attacks you you defend yourself and kill them is that your fault that you've killed that person no it's not it's their fault for attacking you and you've done a defense and they lost it's as simple as that in my personal opinion so it's going to be interesting like i said i'm glad that he's obviously alive and like i said mate he's got the best agent ever to get his name in those opening credits he really really has you know what i mean get me signed up to that guy's agent but going into next season i feel like he's going to be one with the you know the prime followers or whatever is because they were still committed this episode big time mate wasn't there proper committed even that woman burnt herself and she was gonna run in before octavia obviously jumped in and saved the day but i'm glad that she's on her little redemption arc well she's gone now into the anomaly but bellamy could see it you know they rekindled their relationship they was happy they were smiling they was working together you know how it should be it's good stuff and you know what i thought this season's been pretty, pretty decent to be honest i've liked it um how are we going to rank the seasons? That's going to be an interesting one. I'd be excited to see, obviously, when we do the season seven vote, when everyone can do uh, three of them, where where we do get ranked into them. But in terms of this, I wouldn't say, you know, it's the best one we've had, but it's been pretty consistent and interesting throughout. So, yeah, I'd say it's been a decent one altogether. Okay, and that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you're not yet voting for your most likely to dislike characters of the season, please do. Obviously, we had it at the start of the episode, but it will still change when we move into the final season. So it's going to be exciting to see when we do review it back on it. So interesting stuff that was going on. Obviously, it looks like Octavia has gone. Don't know where she's gone, but it's going to be interesting to find out. The anomaly is still a storyline, which I'm happy for. Not because I'm like I'm really excited for it, but we're getting explanations. What happened to Dials? Uh, Hope's clearly here, so you can live on that other side. What is that other side? What happens? It's going to be exciting. She's obviously just turned from a human into an evaporated anomaly and just disappeared, mate. So I don't know what the crack is there, but it's going to be exciting to find out. You know, big respect to Clark as well. She'd done what had to be done this episode. It was really really tough for her she had to kill abba which is interesting because i didn't think she'd have the stomach to do that she did try and obviously 
throw a few questions in there to see if Abby done the same thing as her and clutching on and she's still into the, you know, he's still in her head. But, you know, when it turned out that she's totally gone, absolutely wiped all completely, then, you know, she's done the right thing. You're not having this. You're not doing the people in the crowd pods. Nope, I'm going to kill you all. So that's interesting. I mean, has Russell died actually? No, Russell's still alive in there. It's just trying to think. I was going to say, like, so she's killed Abby and the rest of them. They've all gone. It seems like Russell's still alive. He tried to get madder, obviously, on his side, slash, obviously, um, Shade Hader. And the interesting thing is, they was having a fight in between their head, wasn't there? She was like on top and then he was on top. It was good anyway. I thought Maddie's acting was really good in terms of the fact that, like, when she was being possessed, uh, it was totally like visible if that makes sense like you could see that it was a different person the way i personally could see when clark was being josephine and clark i could physically see even though it was clark that i was looking at you know it was two different characters and i could tell you like that pretty much give me one or two words and i could tell you who was actually being possessed of the actual host body so yeah like i said he tried to cut a deal woke up everybody in the cryopods and like we said I've seen it. As soon as she says kneel, they all kneel. Run, they all attack. And that's what they was going to do. They was going, they was going to take everybody. But the interesting thing is, obviously, Clark done a big play. I've lost my mum today. Do you know what I mean? I don't want you to lose yours. I know you're still in there. Fight, come to the top, gun to my head. Three, two, one. Boom, Maddie's come back, grab Clark. You know, stand down, everybody. Take these away. They're the bad ones. And then, obviously, she's having a fight between the head. Shade Hayes come. She's fighting as well. And Raven's put the cold in. Do you know what I mean? And then, boom, it's been downloaded. Flames been taken out and then the call's been uploaded somewhere and he was like where's that gone nobody knows obviously it's not in maddie's head anymore like i said i still want it to be a consistent theme throughout the whole show considering it started in episode one pretty much and we've ran all the way through in terms of obviously the commanders and the grounders and and all their stories and let's just conclude that in the final season we might as well uh so i'm happy that that's uh, been mentioned and like i said mate at least we didn't leave storylines open we have the Shade Hater one. Keep going. We know it can go into next season. We have the Jordan one. Consistently, I've been thinking, is he dead or is he not? Like, I, I, I've been second-guessing myself. I keep talking, like, where is he? He's alive, he's alive, he's alive. And then I'm like, actually, wait, is he alive? You know, it's been like five episodes. No mention of him, not seeing him. Is he dead? And then I've been confused. So I'm glad that we got that today as well. So his has been done. Dio's has still been mentioned, which is great. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying she's an amazing character, but... It's good that that's been mentioned. That's still open going into the next season. And then, obviously, Octavia and the Anomaly, as again, is another story open going into the next season. So I know that we've not concluded everything in one and we're moving into the other. But the fact is, all open storylines in terms of questions that I had, um, you know, like been raising are there to be answered down the line we've not totally forgot about them so that was good stuff and like i said mate jordan he thinks that it's their fault kind of that what's happened here on um on sanctum the fact that they lived in a, a society where everybody was okay it was all singing all dancing they all had a job and a purpose and they all served the primes and nobody really had any trouble to worry about and like it was our fault that we come down here and we destroyed it pretty much now the interesting thing is i get where he's coming from I do get that, you know, they had a society and rules and they all followed it and it was all chilling with the way that they lived. Nobody had that problem. And these have come down, they've caused chaos and it's disrupted everything. And now obviously all the primes have died. Some people haven't got really um, a purpose to live in terms of, you know, Octavia was saying, that's the reason why I destroyed the farm because of that. I thought it was pretty good how she actually tied that in. Do you know what I mean? Like if they're no longer believing in the primes, then their life has no real purpose considering they've devoted to it the whole time. That's really interesting. Do you know what I mean? Like, people have faith. So, you could be a Muslim. You could be Christian. You could be Buddhist. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you could be praying to this God all your life from birth up until whatever point. 20s, 30s, 40s. Imagine you actually find out that that God's not real. Your life's going to be like, what have I just been doing this whole time? That's pretty much them. They had a God ever since birth. They've been praying to them. They've been serving them. And once they find out that that's not real, their life becomes redundant. They're like, why am I, why am I here? What is my purpose? And do you know what I mean? It leaves you confused and you don't know what to do. And I totally get it. It's interesting. But I'm a Bellamy side, you know, just because people have been okay living here and they've had no trouble doesn't mean the truth shouldn't be out there do you know what i mean they've been dictated to for so long like all bellamy done is well all they've done as mentioned is try to find a place to live and by doing that they was attacked 
they dealt the first blow, they've retaliated, they've come out on top, choose come out with it. It's not their fault that that's happened. It's the people of Sanctums who has actually, you know, tried to use them because of their blood. They tried it, they lost, and the choose come out. I don't think it's their fault. You can have a different view. Totally fine with that. It's all about opinions. But it's going to be interesting to see, obviously, his take going into the next season. Because the guy was doing a ritual on him, wasn't it? You know, he was still in that trance. And at the end, when he was talking to Bellamy, he had a chip in his hand. And also, the guy was stood, like, kind of to the side of him. And you could see him looking at him as well. So, I feel like he's going to be on their side moving forward. So, I can't wait to see what happens in the next season. It's the final one. It's the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Fuming, to be honest. I've only got 16 episodes left. And then we've done and dusted. We've absolutely smashed through it. And hopefully you guys are excited for it thanks for checking out today's episode if you do enjoy it please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys